A few days ago, I had this task to model a few annotation families, a few tags for different sections, and I found out that the process of creating the exact type of tag that we want might be a little challenging. So I decided to create this video to show you how you can properly create a tag that exactly show the information and data that you want and also this could solve a lot of challenges regarding the category of tag so let's start with creating the cat for for example this floor or for this wall or for this swimming pool we can go to file section and in new families we are going to go to the english section and to annotation in here you might not see the exact type of tag that you want for example we do not have the floor tag uh, wall tag column tag or these type of things but we do have this metric generic tag inside this category for like families uh, we can create the specific category, a specific tag for the category that we want. We just going to this part, family category and parameters. And in here, we are going to choose the type of category, the type of tag that we want to create. You can see this floor tags in here. We do have a wall tag. We have calm structural calm tag and a lot of other things that we definitely need in our project. So this was the main and important section that you need to consider. I'm going to create a floor tag. So I'm going to select this floor tag option and click on OK. Then I'm going to delete this one. And after this, let's just first create a very simple but very helpful and like informative tag. I'm going to go to create section and in labels, I will add a label to this part. In these parameters sections, I can select the type of parameter that I want to see related to the floors. For example, we can go with type mark, we can go with type name or family name or the maybe structural material or these type of things let's start with using this type name or family name i'm going to add it to here and click on ok i will also check this inside my project to see if it is exactly what i want load it into the project and in here just double click to go to the view section press tg and then hover your mouse over the like element over the part that you want now that the information that we added to that label is the family name it is showing us the name of this family that i have selected that i have like created it is in this part this is the floor which is the family name I want to switch this to maybe generic 150 or maybe it might have like any other name like these options that you can see in here or we can create one ourselves. We can for example select this one and change it to maybe let's duplicate this first concrete let's go with a slab caps lock or this is good i'm going to click on ok and ok after this i will select this section we can see this concrete slab as the type name i'm going to go back to the tag section in here i can go to edit label and put this back between these category parameter and i will add this type name to here click on ok and load this into the project override the existing version and we can see this concrete slab in here if you double click in here to go to the category you can see that it is showing the type of this floor to us okay then i want to maybe add even more information to this maybe i want to like see the exact uh, like thickness of this floor or maybe i want to see the uh, like core material of this i'm going to go back to the tag family 
in here let's go to edit label again in a row another row under this part i want to add the material maybe i'm going to add it to this section i know i have added the name of the material in the like type name but if for example it doesn't have any you can do it this way i'm going to click on ok and as you can see they will be shown in just one row if you want them to be seen in two different sections in two rows under each other you can just simply check this brick in here and click on ok this way i will load this into the project override the existing and in here i can see the um, type of material of this floor too i'm going to select it go to edit type in the structure section we can see the material of the core boundary is concrete i want to for example change it with something else let's see what we can find in here maybe we can add wood maybe we can add like glass of course it's not for floor but yeah why not we can add maybe glass we can add um, any type of ceramic any type of like finishes parquets or these type of things for now i'm going to simply switch this to this concrete masonry you need click on ok and ok and another ok then i'm going to go to the tag section again in here let's go to edit label the other thing that i want to add to here maybe is the like thickness so if you look at these parts we have the core thickness which is showing us the thickness of the main material in the core boundary or if you want to have the overall thickness you can use this default thickness i'm going to add it to here of course it will be in another row under all of these parts and if you want it to have a like suffix or prefix you can add them to these two sections i will add an a space in here and then two m's click on ok and let's see how it will look i'm going to just use this override the existing version and in here we can see all of them in this part i can move this down if i select this floor and go to its edit type we can see the exact thickness in this part too if you want you can also change the unit for this section too i'm going to go back to the edit label and in here i'm going to select this whole row under this part we have this unit section click on this section and uncheck this use project setting then the unit is millimeter this is what i want and the rounding is on uh, one decimal places i will switch this to zero and click on ok if you want you can also add the like unit symbol to here too without adding a suffix in here okay click on ok and ok and if we load this again overwrite the existing version we can see it much better in this part also i don't really like the order like the way they are aligned in here so i'm going to go to the tag section select the label and switch this horizontal align from center to left then i will move all of these two here and then load it again into my project then i am going to move it to this section and add this arrow in here also i'm going to select it in edit type section leader arrow head i will quit this on this one maybe click on ok and that's it so now you have an informative tag that is showing the type of the floor the thickness and the material that you have used if you have like multiple um types of this floor you can add the type you can add the mark you can add the model and any other thing 
to your tags too also this technique that i show you for floor tags can be used in any other category too you can use it on all of these parts it is exactly the same the label section is exactly the same and with a little bit creativity you can create the best possible tag that you can use forever so thank you so much for watching until now i really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and i will see you next time